a webcam with gimbal and gesture controls? It was about time to finally get something cool and smart to use for online meetings. The Obsbot Tiny. Let's inspect. Hey, welcome, my name is Michael and guess what? This is not your average webcam. This webcam is advertised as PTZ. Pan, tilt, zoom. It has a gimbal, a two-axis gimbal, supposed to move and position the camera in the direction that you need. So yeah, looks like it does a bit more than what a regular webcam can do. I'll tell you about whatever is important related to software and hardware. But first, of course, is the most important topic about the price. This one costs $199, already available on Amazon and many other places was initially crowdfunded through Indiegogo and whoever managed to get it with a nice early bird discount, great. If you couldn't, check the description of the video. It's not the first PTZ webcam, but it's the first well-working one that comes at a price that is not too expensive. There's a Moto from Logitech costing nearly three times more than that. Sharing this info in case you're looking for alternatives, fair to say that the Logitech Moto can be cable-free and has a remote controller, which makes it pretty convenient. So, the tiny. Unboxing, it felt good. Package is rather small, the main highlights are mentioned there. The gesture controls, the AI tracking, the 1080p video resolution. From the inside, we take out the Obsbot tiny camera, the instructions, a USB cable and also a charger. I was really surprised seeing a charger, especially knowing that USB powered devices often are being sent without such. Now even most smartphones are following this trend. But anyways, this is the Obsbot Tiny, having a closer look at the construction and the features. There are two ports. As stated, the Type-C is more than enough if you source it from a USB 3.0 port. You're going to notice the little holes for the microphones. The camera module is on the top and here's the range of operation for the axis. At the bottom, there's a quarter-inch threaded mount, meaning that you can put it on pretty much any tripod that is compatible with action cameras, even with mirrorless cameras. There are of course other ways to mount it. This cool magnet based thing gives you quite many options for mounting. The current version of the firmware doesn't support the camera to be upside down, but soon it's going to be possible. If you care about the specs, there's a 2 megapixel sensor inside. Processor is High Silicon 3516. Maximum video resolution is up to 1080p. There's AI integration allowing you to use gestures to control it. 2 axis mechanical gimbal, inbuilt microphone. Magnetic base and together with the mount it weighs around 175 grams. So at a glance, good device and sounds like a promising webcam to try. Given the fact that it costs a little more than a good non-PTZ webcam, I'm eager to show you how it handles different scenarios. The connection to a computer is quite simple. Plug in the cable, wait the driver to get automatically installed and you're all set. It's going to work fine with both macOS and Windows. The operation is quite simple. There are two gestures that the camera is going to attempt to recognize all the time. Show your palm like this or the other combination which looks something like that. Both of them are easy to be recognized and work very well, though if it's too dark or if there are a lot of different colors and things in the background, it may require a few attempts. But if you have something like a light or dark clean wall paint, all of that is going to be really easy. I'm quite surprised with the resilience of the algorithm because it was really good at locating me all the time even if I was trying sudden movements. So if you're a teacher or you want to present something and there's the need to move around the room, the Obspot Tiny is a pretty good solution. Just as what I do with the most cameras that I'm trying, it's an audio test inside the room and yes, there's a lot of echo. This internal microphone is speaking. Well, uh, right now the Obsbot Tiny is placed on a table. So, hitting the table, putting an item. I think there's not too much of background noise that it's speaking, but definitely the microphones don't sound too great. Probably it's a bit of acceptable if you're really close to the microphone, but if you go away, you know, the quality is not that perfect. Therefore, I would always suggest using a headset and a microphone that is really close to your mouth. Now, some software information. There's an app, Obsbot Tiny Cam. That's the app to use when setting up the device. 
gives you really a lot of great options to improve the image. The default setting is pretty flat, which is great because it gives room for improvement and you can make the image look according to your own taste. If you want to see the changes in real time, one way to do it is to open the app and hit the configuration for the audio and video devices. I'm showing you how it works with Skype. Concerning video conferencing apps, there are of course the options to use their filters for blurring the background or adding weird or other crazy backgrounds. There's no Wi-Fi option, therefore no way to control with the smartphone or whatsoever. But if you prefer to manually adjust any of the settings, it's all available in the TinyCam app. Did I discover issues? Well, given the fact it's a new product and I'm finalizing the video even before most of the first batches are being delivered, yeah, there are some areas that could be improved. I've had some hard time with the firmware updates. Not that my early version of the firmware has issues, but it's always good to try something newer and with potentially more features. The software downloads from the website are pretty slow, but the responses of the Opsbot team were quite fast. Hopefully, they're going to keep the support as good as it is now. The microphone sounds not good enough. I wish the camera has something like a remote, but given the fact that Opsbot have a model called Tail, with 4K support and a lot more advanced features, I can well understand why they slimline the functions here. In the end, I'm pretty happy with the device. Most important is that it fully delivers what is being promised. Good image quality, actually surprisingly good for such a small sensor, very precise tracking, gesture controls, and giving you a more dynamic way to participate in web meetings and present your work. If 200 bucks sound like a reasonable way to upgrade your camera gear and get advanced technology in such a simple to use way, then I can totally endorse the Opsbot Tiny for doing so. If you check the description below the video, there's a link to the product with the best discount I managed to find for you. Alternatively, to be on the creative side and if you want to turn your DSLR or mirrorless camera into a web device, I can offer checking the video about this cool $20 1080p capture card. 2020 may have been a challenging year, but we can at least be thankful for all the improvements it pushed the industry to make in the area of online meetings. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, then hit the subscribe button, because I'd love to see you again in another cool tech review. My name is Michael, and now the usual wishes for a fantastic day. Bye!